Hi, I'm Etienne from Etienne's Foods, and this is episode two of Dinner with a Fat Bastard. So it's pizza night, and we've paired our two classic Italian-style pizzas with this delicious, juicy, zippy rosé from the Fat Bastard. Okay, so we're starting off with a margarita pizza. Most basic of all pizzas, but if you can get this right, you can make anything. Got some whole peeled Italian tomatoes that I just crushed with my fingers, with my hands, got in there. You know your mom told you never play with your food? Play with your food, I'm telling you. Get in there, get it going. We season it with a bit of salt, a pinch or two, and nothing else is needed. That's your sauce, done. Basil, we're gonna go in with some basil, nice fresh basil from the garden. And of course, mozzarella cheese, cut it sort of macaroni slash penne size. That's just so that it doesn't burn too quickly in the oven. Of course, got our pizza oven going. Full steam ahead. There you can see it. Got the flame going, that's what we need. Gotta keep it going. So here we go, pizza oven fired up. Got our pizza base, ready. Let's just tease it out here and let it plop into the flour. There we are. You see all that air in it? Fantastic. We don't want to get rid of that air. That's for sure. Dip it in here nicely. A little bit of this flour on here. And then we go. Keeping that air in the crust. Ooh, this pizza oven's getting hot. From the middle, all the way out. There we go. Now we're gonna take it, stretch, turn, stretch. And you're focusing on stretching the edges, not the middle, because the edges are where all the dough is. Get it going, get it to a nice size. There we have it. Nice little margarita pizza. Ready for us. Tomato sauce. On it goes. Parmesan. Quick grate. There we go. Basil. Couple of leaves. Mozzarella, don't be fussy. And then, pizza peel. A little bit of flour so it doesn't stick. On we go, quickly. Fix the shape. There we are, beautiful. A little bit of olive oil. And in we go. A little shake, extra. Boom. There it is. Pizza started nice and hot. Let's zoom in. You can see how the edges are bubbling. Fire's going. Key. Yummy. Man, the sweet strawberry aromas of this elegant rosé go so well with the margarita pizza, with the basil, as well as with the other one with the green pepper. It's definitely worth cracking a couple of bottles of these on your pizza night. Okay, here we go with pizza number two. And it's more sort of a classic, what we all would call Italian style pizza. 
in South Africa anyhow. Some people call it like the Mafia, so in this house we just call it the Ricky Special because it's uh, his favorite pizza. If you know the Rickster, you know. And we start off the same way. Let's get the uh, let's get the base stretched out. Try to keep it in the crust if we can. There we are. Enough, don't be too fussy. Tomato sauce. Here we go. Don't overdo this. If you overdo this, I'm too soggy. I want a soggy bottom. I want like a soggy bottom. Here we are. Again, parmesan. That's like your seasoning. Seasoning. On we go. Next, garlic, don't be scared, chilies, maybe you should be scared, onions, salami, see the pizza oven's gotten hold of me, green pepper, Oops, that's in the way. There we have it. Pizza peel, flames going. There you go, stretch it out. Good. Olive oil. That's it. We go, we go. Don't forget the cheese. Almost forgot the cheese there. Live TV. Or not. In it goes.